Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Tomisi Ayeni. I'm a fashion designer and I make tutorial videos on how to sew. I do pattern drafting and also DIY projects. If you're new to this channel, you are welcome and don't let this be the last time we see your face. And also, if you're an existing subscriber, you're welcome. Thank you for always supporting us. Thank you for always watching our videos and thank you for always engaging our posts also. In today's video, I'm going to be sewing an altar neck dress. Yes. This is the pattern I'll be using. The tutorial on how to make this pattern will be on my channel real soon. Now, I'm going to adjust this pattern to the design I want it to be. So, I'm going to measure about 6 inches down here. As a new neckle, the depth of my neckle is 6 inches and I'm going to mark out the midpoint of my shoulder. So this is necessary if you are doing a, an outer neck that it's um, having a shoulder. However, what I'm going to sew, it's going to be like an off shoulder. So I'm not going to be using this line here, this measurement I made here. So I'm just going to come down here and measure. And I'm going to mark out a straight line first. Then I measure the point at which I want the shoulder to be. So the straight line now, it's our new shoulder guideline, it's our new guideline now. So this is the point at which I'm going to be using for the neck hole. So from that point, I'm going to measure down about one inch and use a curve to just curve it up. Depending on the neck hole that you want, you can just design it anyhow you want. If you want it to be straight like that, you can maintain it straight. At the armor here, I'm going to come down about one inch because the strap I'm going to be using for the outer neck is going to come from the armor. So that's why I'm coming down one inch because the strap is going to be about one inch or so. So basically, this just eats the neck o, the measurement, and that's all. I'm just going to cut this out for the front. So on the back pattern, I'm going to be maintaining this straight line. However, I'm going to be cutting out the zipper allowance because I'm using a stretchy fabric. So this will go out. The dust allowance also will have to go because it's a very stretchy fabric and i'm not going to be needing the sewing allowance either so the part where i asterisk here is the line i'm going to be cutting out that's the body measurement that's the correct body measurement without adding anything so i'm going to be cutting out the sewing allowance the dart allowance and the zip allowance so we are just going to be left with a normal body measurement so now i'm cutting it this is the sewing allowance added so i'm cutting it out and i'm cutting this out now this is the normal waist measurement here without adding any dart allowance or sewing allowance i hope you understand what i'm doing right here so i'm going to be maintaining this arm o, the same arm o depth here so i'm just going to be measuring be cutting out this arm o here also the zip allowance is going to go as i said earlier so i'm cutting it out now the zip allowance have to go so if you are drafting a pattern for this i would advise you not to add zip allowance if you are using a stretchy fabric or a um that allowance so my pattern is having this because i also use this pattern to do a tutorial on how to make a basic gown pattern so if you are using a fabric that it's not so stretchy you are going to be needing your sewing allowance and probably your zip allowance also but for this fabric i'm using i'm not going to be needing any allowance it's very stretchy i'm even going to be sewing it but i'm going to be sewing it about an inch but i'm not going to be adding it to the pattern so that's advantage of a stretchy fabric so for the front also i'm going to be cutting out the sewing allowance also so i'm cutting out the sewing allowance and the upper parts right there
now i just placed my pattern paper on my fabric and i'm cutting it out you can see i'm not adding any sewing allowance the fabric is very stretchy if there's sewing allowance there it's going to be really loose and i want it to be very fitted so this is the back also i'm just going to do the same thing for the back just for the back So I took my mini fabric and I folded it into two. I have about 36 inches in length and I'm going to fold it in two again. That's folding into four. I'm cutting two strap for the outer neck. I'm going to leave it to be about 1.5. Yeah, about 1.5. So the strap should be about one inch. When after sewing, it should be about one inch. So I'm leaving 1.5 for sewing allowance so I'm just cutting this out so this is folded into four so it's going to be two that yeah, it's going to be two now I'm sewing and take note of something i told you it's a stretchy fabric so i'm using a zigzag stitch um you can't really see it because of the light and um, it's a zigzag stitch and i'm sewing the strap first so i'm going to sew the strap but i'm not going to sew it to the end you know i told you i'm going to use it to fold the armhole of the um dress so i'm leaving this about seven inches or so i'm just going to leave that out then turn the strap inside out so this is the front part of it this is the neck o so i'm going to fold it twice i'm just going to fold it like this and i'm going to sew it but i'm not going to use a straight stitch because it's a very stretchy fabric as i said earlier so for you to maintain stretch in stretchy fabric we use um, a zigzag stitch so my tabletop has different zigzag but i'm not going to be using the small one i use this one for the strap but i'm going to be using this wider one for the neck o i'm going to be using the wider one for it because it's going to be too tiny so now i'm just gonna sew i'm gonna sew it just sew it if you are using um a not so stretchy fabric you can just pipe the neck you can pipe the neck and you'll be fine though i'm using a stretchy fabric if i pipe the neck it's going to look bulgy so it's better to just fold it but i'm going to make sure i maintain that u shape that i cut it i'm going to try and maintain that u shape so i'm just sewing steady steady so take a look at this you can see how it's neat it's very neat now the next thing to do now with the back i'm going to just do the same thing for the back just fold it in two like this and just so straight just straight So right here i did the underarm that for the front so i just did the underarm that yeah that's it after turning my strap inside out so i have this opening here so i'm just going to tuck in the armhole in between it so yeah just like this in between nice and easy then pin it down and just sew on it i'm gonna use zigzag stitch also 
so i'm using zigzag throughout the sewing of this fabric because it's stretchy and to maintain the stretch in every aspect of this i need to use a zigzag stitch because when you use stretch stitch on stretchy fabric it won't stretch wherever you sew won't stretch it's just going to be there so i'm just going to do this for both sides and you can see you can see the results nice and easy very neat and it's beautiful now i'm placing the front on the back and i'm just going to pin it down and sew the sides so also i'm using a zigzag stitch but i'm not using the bigger one i'm using the smaller one because i want it to look neat at the side i don't want it to be so obvious that so i'll go ahead and do the other side and fold the down part using the same zigzag stitch so you can either use the same zigzag stitch to overlock it or use the overlocking machine i'm gonna be using the overlocking machine it's quite faster but you can see we have almost the same results at the edge there so i'm just going to overlock it press it and we're done if you find this video helpful can you give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and see you in our next video Bye.